People in Grovetown honoring veterans early this week. City Hall welcomed a ceremony in the council chambers yesterday. The Fort Eisenhower Navy Choir and Installation Support Detachment Color Guard were on hand. Colonel Brian Youngquist, a commander at Fort Eisenhower, says it was an honor to be the guest speaker. But what a joy it is to know that we do not face this challenge alone. But we have the support of a broader community here in Grovetown and across the CSRA. Your encouragement and support for our families and our military members makes a difference every day and allows them to thrive in this new era of change. There are more opportunities to honor veterans before the upcoming federal holiday on the 11th. Soon it'll be time to honor those we served for, or who served for Veterans Day. The earliest event we know about coming up is at Assembly in Burnett Town, South Carolina tomorrow. That's going to be at Horse Creek Midland Valley Veterans Park at 2 o'clock. There's also a couple events planned for Monday. The Evans VFW Post plans to hold a ceremony. That'll be behind the Evans Library at the Memorial Park Gardens around 11 a.m. A service will start around that same time at Veterans Park on Richland Avenue with the Aiken County Veterans Council. AU plans to hold a celebration later in the afternoon from 2 to 3 at the Maxwell Theater. We plan to share other Veterans Day events that are coming up on WRDW.com. Make sure to type in Veterans Day in the search bar.